Good morning, and it is spring in Wisconsin, and I am out at the flying field for the first time in many, many weeks. Finally, all the snow is gone. The weather is conducive to engine runs, and I've got this beautiful Sato FA220A engine out here for the first official run, at least at the field, and hopefully we'll get some tack readings and all of that. So this is the FA220 a engine that Keith Good gave to me weeks and weeks ago that I've really been waiting to do a better run with. So today we're going to do a run. I've got a <clears throat> excuse me, Master Air Screw 20 by 8 prop attached, same one I had on the first video, and I've got about a half a tank of uh, my own homebrew FAI fuel. Now I'll post what the weather conditions say for Rosendale, Wisconsin, which they don't seem correct because I think the uh, the thing on my phone said it's drizzling, but it's not drizzling. There's no rain. It is about 43 degrees. It feels a little cool, but we don't have a whole lot of wind. So let's go ahead and get this engine, see if we can get this engine running in this temperature. Now this engine has been sitting on this test stand in my garage since the last time it was run. So it's been exposed to whatever the temperature has been in my garage. It's been sitting out here for I don't know 15 or 20 minutes so it's not warm by any means I don't think that I want to try to do the lighter fluid thing to start it because I'd have to remove the glow plug and put a little bit in the hole in the plug hole I might if I have to but let's just give it a shot and see what happens without okay let's prime the crap out of this thing It likes to be pretty wet. Let's try this again. Sound it a little bit better. This time I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to pull the plug and put a little bit of lighter fluid in there. See what happens. So it should be primed. Let me pull the plug. Squirt a little lighter fluid in there and see if that helps. Never tried this on a four stroke. So, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens now.
About 1840 RPM, maybe 1900, idle. This is showing 1670, 1700. Seventeen thirty, eighteen hundred. Okay, so that was a pretty damn good run of this engine. Now, what I was getting on RPM readings, I hopefully I was holding it the tack so that you could actually see it on the camera, but if not, I was seeing a reliable idle around 1770 RPM with this prop. And keep in mind, there's no throttle stop screw on this, so maybe I could have got it lower. I've got rubber bands holding the throttle, um, so I was just kind of setting it that way. I have a peak on here of 8060, but that was just a momentary peak. I don't think that's what I was turning. I think more, realist more realistically, the high RPM with this prop and this fuel was more like um, 76, 77, maybe 78, 50. Um, so that was a really good run with this engine. Now, as you saw, ambient air temperature here being 43 degrees, this engine was probably about 43 degrees. 
I had primed it a lot with this FAI fuel and it wouldn't even pop at all until I started putting a little bit of the lighter fluid in the glow plug hole. So the lighter fluid thing that Mike turned me on to months ago and I just haven't run engines since then works very well for starting a cold glow engine. Apparently it even works for starting a cold four-stroke glow engine. The only other engine I've ever tried it on was I believe a Fox 40 that I ran months ago when it was really cold. But um, this engine runs really really well. It's really a nice behaved engine. It didn't backfire or bite my hand or anything like that. It has to be pretty wet when you prime it and I think it needs to be a little bit warmer. If not, use some lighter fluid in there. And it's a pretty easy hand starter once it's primed properly. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I know I enjoyed making this video and hearing this engine run. Thank you for watching.